Howdy, I'm Lee Wilson, this is TGO Wyoming. I'm here today with my buddy, Elliot Brass, and he's going to go over his Glock 19. So I'm going to turn it over to him, and here we go. Alright, well, start off where it's unloaded and cleared. Ultimately, I've been competing for, I don't know, many, many years, and uh, I'm used to shooting a 1911, and I wanted something that was going to be able to be beat up a little bit more but still be functional and work every time I needed to pull the trigger. So I went through a few other Glocks and I've had them done from Robar, uh, Mark over at Arizona Response Systems and uh, David Bowie Tactical and out of all of them I've been the happiest with this one. I think he did a lot better texturing job and so forth so I'll run over a list of what's been done to it. Ultimately I went with that 360 degree texturing all the way around the frame itself under the trigger guard had it rounded for easier one-handed holstering brought it nice and high under the trigger guard as well so you can get your hand as deeply seated as possible had it radius behind the magazine so you can really you know that mag release you can really get it out had it opened up so if you have a malfunction you can rip your mag from your weapon uh, and overall the texturing works better than about anything else. I mean, unless you're going to go with the CCF race frame and have some, uh, you know, some of their aggressive texturing done. I think this is about one of the best options you can really go with. Had them do a trigger job as well. Three and a half pound disconnector as well as, uh, you know, stoning the internals to get it nice and crisp and a real short reset. Um, roll bars, I think, gets a little too thin throughout the base and it's almost to the point where it's uncomfortable but having that back strap completely removed that large hump makes it so it points a lot more like a 1911 and uh, overall it really locks your hand in place as well as under the trigger guard so you have your your weak firing hand really locks in place and it's uh, you know, overall he does a really good job he does nice you know slide work as well if you want to have the front of your slide radius or his own type night sights that they were doing although I didn't get that done it uh, overall he goes with a yellow up front, two green in the rear, so you don't mix it up at night. And his work is just really impeccable. He does really good work. Everything's nice and rounded, <coughs> so you have nothing digging into your hands. And he opens up the mag well nice and wide for fast speed reloads. And, and overall, he does a great job. And like I said, the roll bars, I like their work. I think their NP3 and some of their finishes are the best. But really, throughout the you know. Working with with polymers, I think that uh, David Bowie Tackle does about the best work that you can really get done. And Arizona Response, the guy Mark that does the work over there, has he left some really sharp edges throughout the front as well as down in the corner. So when you're really holding on to your weapon firm, it uh, kind of was digging into my palm a little bit, and to me that was somewhat of an issue, especially when you're going through a course with a high round count. But uh, you know, overall, I think he does fantastic work. The one thing he, I will say that is a, a negative is he did forget to do the pads up here for your, you know, trigger finger index and for, you know, your, your thumb to really index to lock your, your weak hand in place as well. But he said if I sent it back to him that he would, you know, do it. And it was just an extra 50 bucks to overnight ship it. And that was something that I didn't want to have to deal with at the time. So I'm going to have a local guy try to max, max the uh, texturing and get it done. All right, so it's a really good option for your basic Glock 19 or a Glock 17 or any of the Glock frames. If you are not happy with how Glocks point for you, uh, in particular, I'm, I'm a case in that point. Uh, I, I can't shoot Glocks out of the box. It just doesn't happen. If I try to hit a target, I'll throw the projectile probably a good six feet over the top. The grip reduction package allows it to point like a 1911 and... As Elliot pointed out, there's a lot of other benefits to it. And it takes a standard <clears throat> good gun that is going to be reliable, solid, and always function and turns it into something a little more custom, a little more tailored to you. The pointability of it is a huge factor for me because in the end, shooting with that high thumbs, it really brings your hands nice and high. And it, and it reduces that for most people where the natural pointability of a Glock you're seeing from about the you know barrel hood all the way up to the front sight. And you really have to roll your wrist down to to get in position so it really takes care of that for a lot of people. 
Well, that's uh, pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah, that's about it. All right, well, tune in next time. We'll have another gun review coming up soon. And hope you guys enjoy the look at a semi-custom Glock. We'll catch you all next time.